those kind of games because they really, I don't know, it's like I, I make these videos to be fun and it's no fun to watch somebody either just lose to an Emperor Crab because they don't have any counter or just face roll because they have a bones at rank. Mm-hmm. You know, so, yeah. I totally agree with you. I I think that the meta right now is just really one dimensional. And, mm-hmm. you know, going, queuing up against constantly like your uh, FTW team or, um, you know, any team that's running right? the, the Tarot Claw, they're running like Tarot Claw, Wicked Soul, Fiendish Imp, and it's like, how? Why oh, would you? Enjoy, why do you enjoy I mean, playing that? More than more than half. Yeah. yeah. Against these guys. I yeah, should... exactly. And so, yeah. it's it's a little in the, like I understand maybe wanting to play that team once. Yeah. But like, what gets me mad is whenever somebody's literally queuing for like three and a half straight hours mm-hmm. of you know, Wicked Soul, Fiendish Imp, Tarot Claw. And, you know, it's, it's like, it's no fun because I try to make videos where I, you know, I try to switch up my teams unless I'm doing maybe a specific team spotlight, uh, which I don't think I've actually done yet. Um, but, it, you know, because it, you know, it keeps it exciting and it's just no fun playing against the same stupid teams, mm-hmm. same, uh, same pets. Yeah, I, I was so sad I didn't record my win against these guys the other day. I was using my Orphan Fell bet with the that uh, that feather hatchling and the uh, macabre marionette it's very mm. it's very cool you flood the field with dots exactly right yeah i think i saw i think i saw a video with uh with your macabre marionette maybe the death Feather hatchling i forget what your third pet is but i, re- I remember really liking yeah. that team it looks like a lot of fun because that that fell bat really brings them together with you know enhancing your dots yeah and the uh, free damage interrupt you know just mm-hmm. too nice Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I kind of like the heal just because he is pretty squishy. But yeah, the, the, yeah. the damage interrupt can be really nice because you do have all the dots going. Uh, they're both very, very strong abilities. They're both viable. Yeah, yeah. You know, one thing about watching all your videos, Linica, and same thing with um, Roscoe's and with a lot of the pet battlers out there, I'm finding that there's a huge portion of the pet in the game that are totally fun and totally viable that never ever get played and uh anyway it's just a little bit sad to me yeah for sure um but unfortunately like like sometimes i'll try to use a fun pet and then it's just like it's just Mm -hmm. literally worthless against an emperor crab and if that's all i'm queuing into i don't get a chance to showcase it in a video because i have to spend all my time either just doing something else and wow or you know fi- trying to counter this guy and mm-hmm. um yeah it's, it's pretty sad whenever you're using these fun real here which one's you the lenoka uh, uh but, 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 but i am lenuk oh okay <laughs> so um, is it lenica or lenoka how do you actually... oh yeah everybody pronounces it lenica or uh, sorry lenoka it's supposed to be lenica it's okay, supposed to be lenica awesome. Uh, my my main is a priest named Linica, and then I have a lot of alts with kind of various various versions. Um, but yeah, I just I, I I don't know. I think Linica sounds prettier. <laughs> yeah, it does. Don't worry, I pronounce it right. I mean, <laughs> damn, no, here I go. Gonna <laughs> try to t- see if there's a way to turn up uh, X spray, I think, or uh, let me see. So, oh, you're what? Which one of you is Nathan? Because whoever it is is very hard to hear. Me. Turtle, Turtle Five. Yeah. I'm gonna see if there's a way to turn up your volume. Okay, we try again. Right click on. Yeah. Is that Roscoe? No, Roscoe's not able to join us. He's in the EU, and there's no. no... That's, um, hold up, I'm, th- I'm thinking of his name. Don't tell me. Oh, my boy Andre. Yeah, yeah, that's. that's... <laughs> yeah. Hi. So that's imposter who's uh who's uh andre mm-hmm. yeah that's me i'm gonna add all of you for sure oh, for sure is hero or disco doggy gonna join us i don't uh, i know disco doggy's not online right now and i actually am not friends with hero so yeah i'm not real id friends with him i just he emailed me um sun saturday night and uh Anyway, it like blew my mind that he emailed me.
because he's got over a hundred thousand subs, man. You know, he's got videos mm -hmm. with five. He's got over uh, thirty-five hundred. Yeah, I mean, he's got videos yeah. with like five, six million views on them. So to have him, oh yeah, his uh, his pet battle channel is like his like sixth alt yeah. channel. So his actual <laughs> he's still the biggest. Yeah, his actual channel is just it's pretty huge, and most people yeah. who do WoW videos know him. Like uh, Noble knows him, uh, WoW Krender knows him, uh, just like the For big sure. names. So when he emailed me, I was like, "Oh my gosh!" I was uh, I was driving home from Utah. And growing out. <laughs> yeah, I was driving home from Utah with my wife, and anyway, I was just like freaking out, and she's like, "You're really excited, aren't you?" And I was like, "You have no idea." Realistically, his channel is what got me into pet battles. Yeah, that's awesome. Are we gonna give it a few minutes for others to come? Um. Yeah, I think we'll give it another five. And if it's just the four of us, um, I'm not streaming this because every time that I can't figure out how to get my audio to stream, like everybody in the call. So I'm just recording this locally and we'll upload it. And this will be kind of our first preview of what a podcast would feel like, where it's just uh, Pet Battle guys sitting down and kind of shooting the breeze. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got this little bugger yesterday. Oh, nice. Uh, what breed did you get? SS. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, you're so Ooh, lucky. grats, man. Very yeah, nice. It was a little Very over nice. 100k, but it was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> During the week that the Dark Moon fares up, I have a paladin who just sits right outside of the <laughs> the cave, and I check him probably three or four times a day. But I haven't done enough research to actually know how to, like, the spawn timer of it or whatnot. Yeah. I got mine for so cheap, like, it was back in the day, I got it for, I think, I think 20k, something ridiculous oh like gosh. that, wow. like, for real, and it was a speed speed, uh, the, the thing is, somebody was, like, really desperate for gold, and so they're trying to spam all their battle pets, and nobody wanted them, but I needed the Dark Moon Rabbit, yeah. and uh, he's like, oh, I want 30k, and I'm like, hmm. I'll offer 20k, which was literally all I had. I had literally had 20k gold on my on my main, and so I spent like every just about every penny I had in kind of. Wow. So I know awesome. I wanted I know I wanted him for the longest time, but I just never had the gold. Oh, and then I just got pet. a wild token and I got him. Rats. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, um, so, so with the um, oh, what's up, Nathan? So, uh, what's our reward this, uh, this tournament? You know, uh, I've got doubles of every single, uh, Pandaren pet, like, multiple times over, where I have probably 15 Pandaren, burning Pandaren spirits, like, 10 of the winds, like, 5 extras of the earth. So, I don't know, you can, I'll give the winner maybe one of each or something. Nice. Or I picked up another Anubis Saf idol um, today. But see, that guy, he sells, like, his sell price is all over the place. I really like giving him to new players. Like, the other day, I uh, hooked up with a guy who had watched my Starting From Scratch series and was like, hey, you said you'd help out new players. And so I just looked him up on the armory, and he had, like, two battle pets. So, anyway, I just Come gave here. him one of extra every pet that I had. Which probably, nice. if he sold them at even like a twenty percent discount of what they actually go for, probably like two hundred k worth of pets. But nice. uh, yeah, I love I love. Yeah, it was nice to get people into the community. Um, no, for sure. The, the Anubis Seth Idol, Terra Cloth, those two pets are probably your two best pets to start off with in pet battles. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of get power level your other pets. Oh. Yeah, I hate the Terra Claw. Oh, oh yeah, mm -hmm. so deeply. Yeah, they're they're detestable pets in <laughs> PvP, but <laughs> you will learn to love the uh, what's the what its name? It's the Alpine Foxling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I oh, love I love that, love that pet so, so much. So good. Name them Saber. <sighs> nice. Well, if it's wait just gonna Saber, be... I think I queue into you like all the time. I think we're on the same. I think we're on the same uh, ladder because I remember Saber. I remember your your Alpine Fox thing, Saber. It was either me or Hero, because his his awesome name's Saber. I think. I know. I know. I'm not on Hyru's. Uh, on Hyru's. Uh, Battle uh, group. 
yeah, I'm not in, I'm not in his meta because I've never queued into him, and I've you know I've probably queued for like what, 20, 25,000. Uh, I'm on Kelthazad. Um, U- U.S. U.S. Kelthazad. I think he used to beat me all the time. Like literally every single time I'd queue into Saber, I would lose because I used to run almost all the same pets because I didn't have as big of a collection back in Wad. So uh, yeah, I, I think I know your I know your Alpine Foxling. <laughs> um, what other pets do you have? Like, uh, do you have names for? Um, You'd better not have an emperor crab named Quickie Fox. <laughs> no, I, n- I haven't named my. Good thing, because <laughs> I am so <laughs> mad at whoever's <laughs> running that stupid emperor crab. Oh, I just lost my shit today <laughs> when I was trying to make some videos. Because uh, I kept queuing into this stupid infant crap. Sweet little Coco. Never played against Coco. He's so cute, though. Look at him go. SS breed uh, Alpine Chipmunk. I named mine Scrat. I need to name my pets more. All mine are named <laughs> like Huge Toad or Infinite Wealth. And, or, for example, I named uh, the Elder Pyth- or the Tree Python. I named him Power Snake. Because I think he's the only power power snake that you can get. Oh, never never realized that. I mean, there is isn't there like a Death Adder breed that has a power power? Yes, uh, and there's also a Rose type end that has a power power. But when it comes to like the old world, uh, you know, Azeroth Ka- or Kalimdor, Eastern Kingdoms, like everything pre uh, pre mist. And I've I've played since like halfway through the Burning Crusade, so I've been playing for a little while. But. Oh. When I went to go get uh, a rose type in, literally all day, all I found were power powers, HH, and all the other ones. So I grabbed Rough. power power, HH, and then finally I found an SS. So I got Rats. all three. Best three. Nice. Nice, nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, if it's just going to be the four of us, um, Nathan, what do you say? You and I, we face off, and then we have Andre and. Uh, uh, sounds like a plan. Yeah. <laughs> Is anybody like pressed for time, or or do we have time to like all go one to, like one at a time so we can watch the battles? We have all, yeah. all. Well, I have all the time in the world. What about you, Nathan and Andre? Same, same. I'm fine as well. Nice. Okay. Well, Alrighty, because I'd like to go ahead and watch. It's always lots of fun to get to see. Um, sure. How see about you guys lead it off, and then I can commentate from the outside. Oh sure. We began. Okay, these. This are. is the clash of titans. We have Linica versus Andre, two of the best pet battles. Oh wait, are we? In oh wait, I didn't realize I was going. My bad. My bad. <laughs> okay, but I am ready. Okay. I am ready. <laughs> Dude, this. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm. 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 I'm, I'm ready. Let's do uh, this. Battle number one. Good luck, gents. You can go ahead right. and duel me whenever you're ready. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna use wow. it right now. He just drops his orc racial. He's going in. <laughs> He's going full yeah. him. <laughs> Coming in hot. <laughs> okay. All right. Gonna be starting off with a uh, uh, infected squirrel, another fairy dragon, and a rabid nut varmint. Um, very strong looking team. I bring one of my best teams too, so this would be really exciting. Um. No one there is faster than me yet. So I'm gonna try not to commentate because I don't want to give away my strategies. Okay, (laughs) so here I will commentate from the outside. Um, What it looks like is this looks like it's an HH stone armadillo, and we have Andre playing his most likely SS Nether Fairy Dragon. Um, Looks like Linica here is gonna be using Power Ball to his advantage. it does take several power balls for him to get up to speed. What's your speed at right now, Linica? Uh, I'm actually just past him now. 341 speed to 325, so I will be able to go ahead, uh, throw up my shell shield, and take uh, quite a bit less damage from his Nether Fairy Dragon. That's what I was afraid of. Yeah, the, the Stone Armadillo is, like I said, a very, very kind of semblance to a a vengeful porcupet poor man's version um so now i'm able to outspeed here another fairy dragon (laughs) 
Ooh, oh, nice. that triple crit also had a crit, so that's really kind of scary. Um, uh, it's a big risk. Uh oh. Dun dun. For dun, dun. me, but. Swerve. Um, my strategy is going to be to go ahead and bring in the Robo Chick just to soak that big magic damage. Um, it does weak damage active? to me. His racial was active because okay. he had gotten me below half health, so. Um, Sorry, I, I can't commentate before uh, I make yeah, the yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because, <laughs> like, I don't want to give it away. Um, I'm guessing he's going to He be is going to swip out. He is going to switch out. He did have his dodge available, but he chose to go ahead and switch out anyways. Um, okay, so it's his undead here. He has, I'm, uh, he has Moonlight up, so if he's running Creeping Fungus, it's going to hit me really hard. Unless I Shell Shield it. <laughs> and there's the shell shield. It still hits through shell shield. It's a crazy thing. That's how hard it hits. Wow. It does about, but, um, it does about like 150 damage. Yeah, it did. It, it still hits hard, but it's my best bet, honestly. So. Ooh, oh, and you got a crit. You got a hard hit and crit with that disease bite. It's looking pretty good for his infected squirrel. I'm gonna go for that uh, thrash. Helps like it a triple hit. I uh, did. Nice that paid triple. off. And he's healed up almost a full. So oh, my word. playing his infected squirrel very, very well here. Looking quite scary. Um, I wasn't that good with that crit. Is the weather still moonlight? It is. For four more rounds, the weather is moonlight, so those creeping fungus are ticking for a lot of damage. He surely does have. Consume corpse. I don't know. Oh, and he's buffing. He's using rabies to buff that moonlight, da that uh, that uh, creeping fungus damage even more. A lot of damage coming into my Zambi here. He's gonna go ahead and uh, use his extra plating, and he did call my bluff. I am actually using consume corpse instead of Adrenaline Rush, so um, good call on his part. I'm going to go ahead and swap out here. Why, why am I telling you my strategies? I'm going to stop commentating. <laughs> I have a terrible habit. <laughs> terrible habit. Oh, it looks like we got somebody else. Yeah, so I brought in my Robo Chick. He has, still has his nut farm in at the moment with two more rounds of extra plating up. He's gonna go ahead and and, uh, and put the rabies debuff. It deals makes me deal uh, twenty five more more damage, but uh, I also um, I also take fifty percent more more damage. So oh, that was not enough for me. Alrighty, so he still has three pets left. He's gonna bring in his nether fairy dragon. Wind up is going to take out the Nether Fairy Dragon. Um, yeah, I had so, to soak it with someone. Yeah, he chose to soak with the Nether Fairy Dragon. Um, oh, this is a scary battle. Very scary here. Um, okay. Come on, Robo Doggy, you got this. <laughs> um, I actually don't have to use Overtune to outspeed a squirrel, is the nice thing. Because he does have 240 speed while I have 260 with my health health uh, chicken. Let me see. That uh, that dot ticks for 113. So he has... To, oh, he's going to attack, of course. But um, I should be able to get off one more wind up before kicking the bucket. He's using consume. It's going to heal him for quite a substantial amount. Very good there Holy for him. Smokes. It's going to be a wind up here. Without a crit, it doesn't kill him. He didn't. He didn't die, so he still has two twenty-six health, um, and uh, a lowest hitting disease bite will hit for two forty-eight. So if he doesn't uh, swap, he actually does is going to activate his racial here. All right, so he's going to go ahead and th uh, let me kill him. Activate his racial. He's going to hit me with a disease bite. Um, I think I want to go ahead and consume corpse here. 
um, just for the heal while I can't do any damage. Could have used a Siphon Life for his minor heal, but I think having that heal is going to pay off in the long run. Siphon Life, that's a target-specific dot, not a team dot? It is, it is. So I can put it on as many as I want. Oh yeah, it's not an area of effect. It's just a... Um, it's, it's just like a, a bleed, basically. Oh, right, I expected so. a Siphon Life. Yeah, so he, he uh, if he had used extra plating, he would be a bit tankier, but now he actually hit a me with a rapid Strike, which buffs my damage in addition to making me deal more. So, um, very scary battle. But at this point, my uh, Disease Bite hits pretty hard against his rabid Nut Varmint. He's going to go ahead and use that extra plating, but I think it might be too late. Um, I don't have any more Consumed Corpses available, however, so it is kind of a race against the clock since I don't have any more healing. But a one more disease bite is gonna is gonna take out the rabbit nut farmer. So very close battle. Well played, um, little bit spastic, sorry, with my with my commentary because I didn't want to give away my strategies against Andre. But uh, <laughs> well played, very well played to him. Uh, fun battle, and he totally called my bluff. I was running a journal in a rush in my videos, and then I switched up that one move just to kind of have a little fun. <laughs> Alrighty, um, okay. round two, gentlemen. No repeat pets. Um, close your eyes so you don't see what pets the other person's running. Nobody saw that, Lenoka. Don't worry. <laughs> Rematch is on top of <laughs> No, I mean, I, th I, th I think it's fine if he sees what, what my first pet is. Yeah. Oh, wait. You know what I'm going to name my huge toad? I'm going to rename it Umbridge after the person from Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have, have to adjust SS. this one. Just a sec. If any of you have an SS, you should name your Tarot Claw Umbridge. Furry Mouse. You should <laughs> name it Disco Doggy because he's the one who talked about him. That's what Hyru did. That's what Hyru did on his on his uh, Fairy Mouse. Same. I think I actually need to get a Speed Speed Fairy Mouse still. Oh, that's such a that's such a fun pet. Great against MPD. All right. Sorry, are you ready? Let's do this. Alrighty, I okay. am ready whenever you are, Andre. Round two, fight! Alrighty, so oh, I'm going to go ahead and use my no. Karaki Gardling. He is the strong pet, <laughs> and he has a spawn of Anixia, which is a very strong matchup for me. Um, he's using the Anodized Robocup, which is a very nice pet. Looks like it's a bleed team, so... Um, oh. hmm. I'm in so much trouble. Yeah, the difficulty that Andre's going to have here is I do, of course, have um, just potentially. I mean, I might just be running, you know, not Sandstorm, whatever else, whatever the other <laughs> ability is. But, uh, <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> the fact that I don't know what that other ability might even be, it's probably an indication of what I'm running. Uh -huh. going to go ahead and use a, uh -huh. use a Sandstorm. Um, his, his squirrel's very, very much in trouble against me because he does have such ticky-tacky damage. Um Oh, that was a switch. That was a switch. He knew the stun was coming in, so he's going to soak with his critter who can't get stunned. Nicely. Oh, MVP plays there. That's really going to force me to have to either take a double hit maul or swap. Just to let you know, Linda Kyle, it was Hawkeye you were looking for. Oh, Hawkeye. That was, the, that, was that move that I'm definitely running. Other than, yeah, you already know. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> Hmm. Sandstorm will soak some of its damage and okay. So Andre, did you just use the maul on? Uh... Yeah, he yes, just he just used his maul, and I chose to swap into my turquoise turtle to soak it, so that my uh, Karahi Garling, who did have have one more tick of bleed on him, um, so that he would not take that full damage. It's going to swap into a spawn of Anixia. Um, Turquoise Turtle is already faster than him, so um, what I, I don't have to powerball to get faster. Is I'm seeing Andre. I, I'm predicting a lift off, which is either going to have to force uh, Linica here to play one of his other two pets, or he's going to be throwing out a weather effect. Actually. Oh, 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 oh. He's just going for straight oh, damage. Those plays. 
So he actually went for straight damage. He's trying to activate his racial quickly. Um, so that's going to kind of force me to do one of two things. I either can swap or I can heal. I went for the heal. He went for the damage. He hasn't quite... Oh, oh he did man. actually activate his racial. So um, I better skedaddle. <laughs> Who's gonna eat that? Who's gonna eat it? Yeah, <laughs> Who's I'm gonna eat it? I'm assuming his uh, scorched earth is gonna be coming down pretty stinking hard here. No, I was. Well, we don't know that. Of of him he could his, be running healing yeah, flame. Yeah, mm. He could be running his, healing flame. Yeah. And the fact that he used his tail sweep instead of his scorched earth would lead me to believe that that is what he is running. Not really, honestly. All right, so he's going to swap into a squirrel here. I applied rabies to him, so he does a lot of damage here. But he also takes a lot of damage. So he's going to go ahead and crouch to kind of mitigate oh. that 50% damage. I have overtune, actually, so I am faster than his squirrel. And because I have the aquatic racial to take less damage from... Um, dots. I decided to soak that uh, that bleed with him. I don't want to be beaten. <laughs> it's a very scary game here. Oh. It's going to bring in the spawn of a Nixia next against the the turtle. He activated his racial, and he did take out the turtle. So I'm down to two pets. He still has three. Bringing in my Karahi Guardling. Now the question is, is which of Andre's pets is he going to soak the sandstorm with? I'm predicting the Robocop. Oh, keep in mind, sandstorm does weak damage against yeah. his Dragonkin. So it wouldn't actually kill his dragon kin if he uh, stayed in to save soak it. And a low hitting crush actually smokes. didn't take him Just out either. A low end. Okay, let me see. So 327. To give you an idea, the lowest hitting attack is 323 with crush. <laughs> <laughs> and it can hit up to 600. Such a low end. <laughs> oh, that was too so funny. taking that damage is kind of unfortunate. Um, and un <laughs> unlikely, so he was fond of Anixia, really put up a fight there before kicking the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> um, keep in mind, he does have a squirrel who is very weak against the Karahi Guardling, and then the Anodized Robocub has the Maul available. But uh, other than that, uh, doesn't hit that hard with only 289 attack power, so killing my Karahi Guardling is going to be quite a difficult feat for his um his team to do especially because the sandstorm completely blocks all of his damage okay and my my stun did land so it's going to buy me a little bit more time before um he can go for that maul. I did oh miss my. my crush against his anodized Robo Cub, and I have one more round of bleed on me, so his maul um, would hit my Karahi Guardling uh, very hard if I stayed in. I'm going to go ahead and swap out to soak the maul with my uh, Rabid Net Varmint. Applying rabies to him. He's going to go for his heal. <laughs> it's my only hope. It is his only hope. <laughs> but uh, I do have the debuff on him, which makes him take extra damage, so I should activate his racial before he gets the heal off. Yeah, those those uh, metal fists hit for 439 a pop while he is affected by rabies, so a lot of damage coming at him. So much health, though. He has a lot of health, but um, my Karahi Guardling heals for a lot and uh, is very good at tanky, so... You're using the SS breed. I am right. using the SS. Yes, the SS breed is um, going to be the best because he will go first with that kick so much. He 
Mac's going to kill me here with a bite. But I was able to apply rabies before uh, kicking the bucket. He's swapping into the squirrel when I used my stun, so that's very smart because I can't stun his squirrel. And his squirrel is the 341 speed, correct? His, his yeah. squirrel is the 341, so he was able to apply a bleed before, um, before I killed him. Now that I'm bleeding, he does have his mall off cooldown. And he oh. did land the mall. He did land the mall. A bite, if it lands, will kill me. Oh, I missed my crush. Oh. And he got me. He got me. That play, switching into the critter for the stun was so pro. Rank one play by Andre there. I didn't think I would I would that. that. Very well played. Very, very well played for sure. So that means one more for a tiebreaker? Yep. Yeah, give me a second to think about my team. You I think I'll need that too. <laughs> okay. Well, I now know that he cannot bring his Kiraji Guardian again. Okay, gentlemen, let me ask you guys this. Are either of you going to be using the Hijal Wisp? Um, I'm not. I, I don't have him in any of no, my teams. I even no, proposed no, no it's banned, so... <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm you meant Nordrassel? Oh, yeah, the Nordrassel was. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I hate that was. Oh, so very, very much. I first had it paired with my Tainted Muff. It was just so silly. <laughs> Ownage imminent. So, right now to fill this little space, we have uh, Andre and Linica both really up in the brain space right now, trying to outthink each other. They've both used some really, really solid teams. Uh, they're currently one and one, and both games have really come down to the wire. So, Andre won the last game, and he did so with a very hard hitting maul through a sandstorm, and also Linica got really unlucky with uh a, yeah. a little bit of the damage couple that, misses. Yeah, yeah a couple misses and then some of the damage that he was dealing um on his guardling so really it was uh it was like watching titans battle it was very impressive <laughs> it's one of the prices you pay for uh using sandstorm mm -hmm. <laughs> true true nathan is that the health power breed or is that health health H H. I actually. One? What's up? Already, Lenica's locked in his team. Do you have a silicon hatchling? Yeah, I do. I've got uh, one of each. Oh, yes. Okay. Here things go, Andre and Lenica. This is what one and one. To... You just see, is it right? Yeah, it's right. Okay. He is bringing out the Speed Speed Karahi Gardling, a Diamatron Hatchling, and a Robo Chick. Speed Speed breed of the Robo Chick, to be interesting. exact. Ooh, you're running a Moonlight team with some serious heals on it, though. You have your would-be Emperor Crab, as well as Clyde, your infected squirrel, and most likely an SS Nether Fairy. It is an SS Nether Fairy. It is Clyde the infected squirrel, and then a Shore Crab. Andre, what breed Gardling do you have? The SS one. SS. He used a quick attack that does extra damage to me and goes first. He used a Screech, that's going to slow down my speed. And he's going for a Ravage. Oh. Uh-oh, that Whirlpool's in hit hard. Yeah. 
All right, so he has no more uh, strong attacks with his power, power, Diamondron Hatchling, since Ravage is on cooldown for one more round. He's going to swap into his Karahi Guardling to soak the, uh, the damage here. It hit hard. I feel a sandstorm coming. Sure thing. We are the same speed. Okay, so here's the coin toss. Oh, yeah. Coin toss goes to Lenica. What is he going to use? Um, He's going to go ahead and use the uh, the the clobber. I and... went for the coin toss. Yeah. At least um, the light will help me with heals for a short period. You spring back and Clyde, though, to throw out that creeping fungus. Moonlight is up. He knows I'm running creeping fungus. He's going to bring the robo chick to soak the creeping fungus. Gonna use this wind up. Hmm. Oh, so close. Wind up doesn't quite kill the uh, infected squirrel. He's going to use an overtune, so it's going to be impossible to out outspeed. I have my undead racial to fall back on. Uh. It's going to go ahead and use a peck. Corpse explosion is going to come yeah. out, take out the robo chick. So two v two between the nether fairy dragon and the shore uh, shore crab. How many of you got stardust? I haven't. I got mine right at the first week. <laughs> it went out. It's going to bring in the Diametron hatchling versus the nether fairy dragon. He does have a priority move, so that's going to kind of negate a little bit of the dodge that you're going to be able to play. It's going to go ahead and slow my Shore Crab with Screech. I'm going to go ahead and go for that Ravage. Second tick, even if it does crit, will not be able to kill my uh, Shore Crab, so I'll be able to get a strong heal. It's going to be very scary here, because it looks like he'll either have to sacrifice his Karahi Guardling, or it'll be uh, an even-steven speed match between the... Oh. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be... Um, He's going to sacrifice the Karahi Guardling. No, you were supposed to switch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Oops, I misplayed. <laughs> He's going to go for the quick attack. It does go first. Oh, he got Whirlpool down another go down. Whirlpool. Ravage will heal him if I stay in. Yeah. But I swept. I swapped. He's locked into. He's locked into Ravage, and uh, the Nether Fairy Dragon plus Whirlpool will take him out. Very Bye. close game. Wow. Very close game. Good game, gentlemen. Well played again, man. Oh, what a game, man. <laughs> okay, I'm. So, I actually got these on video, so I'm super happy because like. 
Oh, so well played to you, Andre. Thanks, so man. Well played. Really beat me on that whirlpool. Ah, well, I had a couple little tricks. Um, another thing that you probably didn't realize because I never used it, I had life exchange. I was actually not running the dodge, so it was kind of like a. <laughs> oh. it, was, it, was, it was kind of a trick that oh. I had up my sleeve that I didn't have to use, but um, I, I did have that potentially. <laughs> That's just for fun. I, yeah, I, <laughs> I really thought you had the dodge. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nathan. And that's why I was using my my what? screech so often. Exactly, as you wanted me slower, and I wanted to be slower. I wanted to get lower health and pay, may, maybe get a maybe get a trick. So, uh, very very scary battle there. <laughs> oh, well played, Andre. All right, I can go ahead and commentate for you and Gomrath. Uh, so it's going to be Nathan and Gomrath, correct? Yes. All righty. I'm debating which team I want to bring out first because I don't anticipate, uh, and me saying this is probably going to change his strategy, I don't anticipate him bringing out the Kujahi Guardian on the first match, but it's very possible that he would. So we will we'll see how this turns out. Alrighty, first matchup with, uh, first of all, what are your teams? It looks like it is going to be the Rabbit Nut Varmint, the Anodized Robo Cub, and the Squirrel coming out from Gomrath. On the uh, other side, we are going to have the Stunted Yeti, very cool, the Nether Fairy Dragon, and the Infected Squirrel. Um, looks like it's going to be a lot of dots going out on both of these teams. We're going to see uh, another Fairy Dragon coming out from Nathan as well as the Crouch from the Squirrel on Gomrath to soak that Moonfire. Okay, I'm anticipating a swap from Nathan into the Yeti. Oh no, he's staying in. Alrighty, so the uh, Nut Barrage came out from Gomrath. Uh, it's going to be hitting the Nether Fairy Dragon, applying that dot. And the Nether Fairy Dragon is just sticking to his guns, hitting some damage. Actually, he's going to switch into the Stunned Yeti to soak that dot. Stunned Yeti has a pretty good matchup against the, the Squirrel because he does take the weak damage from Nut Barrage. Rabid Nut Varmint is going to come in to take the punch from the Stunned Yeti. Crouch is going to go out from the Rabid Nut Varmint to mitigate some damage. Sorry. Uh... Extra plating, but it's the same. Extra plating. Yeah, extra plating. Alrighty, so we're, we're seeing some damage going into the Infected Squirrel. Infected Squirrel is going to heal up a little bit with Consume. And looks like the heal is going to be ticking away at the Rabid Nut Varmint. Uh, so that in two more rounds, he will heal up to full. Going to see if he's going to be able to get his racial activated. He is not. So he's going to heal up to full. Still has his racial intact. And a clobber is going to come out from the Stunned Yeti. Just a little bit too late to interrupt that heal because the squirrel is faster. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Yeah. Darkshore Cub is coming in. He's using Roar, actually, so he's going to really buff whatever he's going to do be doing for the next three three attacks. Stunned Yeti is a little bit lower on health, and the Nether Fairy Dragon is going to come in and soak that hard hitting. It looks like it was a maul. Um, I don't think the, the Nether Fairy Dragon has given away whether it has life exchange or dodge yet, so we'll have to see. Squirrel's going to soak that hard hitting uh, um... Uh, Moonfire. Uh, Moonfire. <laughs> I was thinking Moonlight, but I know it's not the, the mm -hmm. ability. Moonfire. Crouch is going to go up on the Squirrel to mitigate the 50% of the damage coming into the next three turns. Stunned Yeti's coming in. Can't stun the, the Squirrel, so he can really only damage or play Mangle, I think. He's, I don't know what his other ability is. Um, it's going to swap into the Dark Short Cub here. Dark Short Cub does take the weak damage from the Humanoid, so Looking pretty good for the Dark Shore Cub. Stun is going to come out from the Stunned Yeti. 
Um, but that Dark Shore Cub still is winning the health battle, and the Infected Squirrel is going to come in. Oh. At the same time, the Rabid Nut Varmint is going to come in, uh, and the it's the the dot the moon blah, 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 the the fungus is going to come out onto the Infected Squirrel while he has that mitigation up. So very well played to mitigate that hard hitting dot damage under Moonlight. Stunned Yeti's going to come in, take take it to the face. Um, and the rabbit net farm it does go first. He will be able to hit that stunted yeti pretty hard. And down goes the stunted yeti. So that rabbit net farm it did some good work here. Um, Nether fairy dragon is quite low. Infected squirrel is doing okay. Um, but it's definitely looking very favorable for Gomrath at this point. Nether fairy dragon does have speed advantage but the damage disadvantage so actually we're both ss so oh, that, that was the oh, coin toss bad. right there yes and he is not running life exchange <laughs> all right so the dodge oh. does come out the dodge does come out i didn't realize he was running a speed speed uh rabbit nut varmint a random arc runs through the field <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that the random orc is eyeing Gomrath at the moment. He's looking a little bit hostile, but he is level one, so we shouldn't have too much to worry about. We do have approximately uh, 800, 900 battle pets on Linica's, uh, at Linica's disposal if any trouble should arouse. You know, I am impressed that your squirrel's been able to heal up to full. <laughs> that consume is really doing some good work to keep him alive. Um, consumes an interesting choice because you do give up your your uh, corpse explosion, but it's very powerful, um, especially in uh, against non-meta pets. So he's really, really able to tank quite a bit, throw out some more dots on that rabid nut farmant. Especially as far when as, moonlight is out. Exactly, it's very, very powerful. So um, very good call there using this strategy. He's definitely doing some excellent work against this mechanical. Almost activates the racial, and the racial will be activated by the dot in the next round. So, an attack is going to go into the infected squirrel, almost activating its racial, but just not quite. Rabbit nut farm, it looks like he's going to die on the next round. And that undead still is clinging on for dear life. The squirrel is faster, however, so he is going to be able to take out the undead on this round. Yeah, there is that 80% hit chance on each of those uh, nut barrages, but they do hit very hard, so it's worth it to go for that for sure. Alrighty, so the attack's going to be soaked by the Dark Shore Cub. Looks like it's going to be GG Gomrath. Well played, well played, well to, both played of, to both competitors. Thank you, thank you. So you should have built the team to counter that, man. Because I showed yeah, this... I don't, I I don't want to be cheesy and switch yeah. over when you mention the guard thing. That's true. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn know. away from you so I can't see what pet you're bringing out. Uh, and I'm going to bring out my next team here. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. I am ready when you are, Nathan. All right, it's going to be round two between Nathan and Gomrath. Very close battle there, but uh, Gomrath did get the win. So if Gomrath wins here, he will take away the uh, the, the match versus Nathan. It's going to be another fairy dragon on Gomrath's team this time. Power, power snake, and then a tainted moth. Very, very strong. Uh, we have a yellow moth, even even stronger, because I'm assuming it is a power, power breed. Um, we have the crystal hold on, spider. Hold on. We're going to pause here for a second. Nathan, the yellow moth is a vendor pet. It's not ah. a vendor. Isn't it? Because it's in um, Exodar, isn't it? Doesn't it? Let's see. It's only wild caught. No, that's um, only a, it's a vendor exclusive pet. It is a vendor pet. He is correct. He is correct. You want me to bow out and change yeah. my team? Yeah, we'll both change our teams. Okay. Well, you're not gonna see me get to play my power power snake. Dang it. <laughs> I mean, do you have another mod? 
Yeah, you a can gray just, moth Yeah, cave. you can just stick to that. If you switch in just a different moth, that's fine. Okay. The tainted moth, the um let's see what other moths are there. The gray, I think. Uh not the gray moths, I'm pretty sure. There's a forest uh, moth. Silky moth. There's a silky moth. Oh, there, there is, is the gray moth. Forest moth. There is the gray moth, correct? The oasis. There is the moth. oasis moth, and that is those are the four. Or wait, fifth. What was the one that you had? I have you the tainted. Yeah, I've got tainted. tainted. Yeah, silky's silky, I believe, is. Kinda... Oh, let's aid him. Help! <laughs> He's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing. Yeah. He got rid of my, um, rematch whenever that thing attacked me. Oh yeah, it does that. It's kind of a weird glitch. Um, can I, like, just change the moth out for something else? Yeah, just change it out for anything. I won't change anything on my team. Yeah. But y'all do have the option to just change whatever teams you want, use yeah. whatever you want. At this point, you may as well, since you already know what your previous strategy was going okay. up against. I'm just going to change the team. Let's do this. I hope you're not going to be using that Emerald Wobbling. Why? Because it's not a wild, it's not a wild cop pet. <laughs> oh, but it's in Fearless. Come on! <laughs> no, this is he's got to be wild cop. It's a wild. It's a drop. You can't use uh... it. <laughs> I, well, he's just trying to see what all of your teams are, Gobra. No, <laughs> I didn't even see his pet. Try to pull a fast one. <laughs> all right. Um, it's word drop. You're. Probably not sorting by the correct sources. You shouldn't check them all and then check only pet, pet battle. That's it, I'm just gonna deal with this. Now I know for a fact all these are caught, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if any of you have an issue, <laughs> please direct it to me. Oh, okay, he's going the guardling. All right, so we have a um, double sandstorm team coming out from uh, from Nathan. He's punishing us for not letting him and him use his fun pet. So he's going to use a double sand a sandstorm and a topaz shale hatchling. Um, a lot of healing available. Uh, the nether fairy dragon is going to be coming out from Gormath. He is using his power power snake and the tainted moth sticking to his guns. We're going to be seeing a matchup with the tainted moth going for a sleep on the on the beast. The silver hatchling is going to throw up sandstorm. Swap's going to be into the Tainted Moth, while uh, the Cocoon Strike is coming out from, from the Moth um, into the Topaz Shale Hatchling. Cannot hit him through that. But the fact that he's using Poison Spit, I think, means he doesn't have... Um, he does not have the webbing. doesn't have webbing. Okay, so I'm assuming he doesn't have Stone Skin either. Ooh. Yeah, since he didn't use it earlier. He's going Hamsies. Yeah, that was a pretty good uh, bet since he didn't use his um, his uh, sorry, what do you call it? Oh, he's got an HH Guardian. He's running HH, not SS. So. Oh, HH is coming out, Guardian. That's not. It's going to be slower than the Nether Fairy Dragon, so his advantage is really going to be pretty, pretty slim. Even though he does have the strong attack power, that Nether Fairy Dragon is able to do work while taking almost no damage. All right, so the swap is going to be into the moth. Crush is going to hit it. Oh, Sleep is going to come out into the Karahi Gardling. He did not get slept. He's going to throw up another Sandstorm. Sandstorm is doing work. It's uh, it hits hard, and it really mitigates a lot of a lot of pressure from the enemy team. Especially combined with the health health, it is a uh, it is kind of a monstrous. A monstrous obstacle to overcome. Power Power Snake is going to come in against the Topaz Shale Hatchling, who is running the oh. step. There Looks like there was a miss there. Yeah, my uh, my hiss mist. Oh, the hiss mist. And so did my vicious fang. Oh. So did the vicious fang. Sandstorm is really, really hurting wow. Gormrath here. A very, very, very hard match to. To possibly be able to come back here. 
Snake is almost dead. One more body slam or whatever that thing is going to kill him. Stone Rush. Stone Rush, that's it. Yeah, this is not looking good for me. Yeah, Tainted Moth is below its racial. So, Shell Hatchling will die here, but uh, he still does have those two strong, high health uh, Sandstorm users at his disposal. Um, the good news for Gomrath is if he does lose this, he doesn't have to worry about any Sandstorm on the third match. So, um, good strategy to use these together, but it also means you cannot use a Sandstorm in any teams for the third match. So Cocoon Strike is going to come out. Still with the Hatchling, still pretty high health. Moss still below its racial, but faster. Alpha Strike sort of come out doing some da damage to that beast. It looks like it hasn't quite activated the racial yet, so that's pretty good for Gomrath. Uh, racial has been activated now, so he's going to be start doing some hard hitting damage. The hiss is going to slow the Tainted Moss, giving the the Silhouette Hatchling priority moves. So uh, damage is going to be soaked by the Nether Fairy Dragon, but he is so, so low. And that Karahi Gardling is still sitting at 95% health, so Karahi Gardling's going to come in to soak the damage. Oh, and actually is very, very tech, te uh, very good swap while uh, the Nether Fairy Dragon was using his dodge. Sandstorm is going to come out. Whether it's going to be changed by the Nether Fairy Dragon. But the Nether Fairy Dragon is going to die on this next round. All he has left is that very low health moth at his disposal. Without a lucky sleep or something, it's going to be GG. Oh. So three sleeping mo uh Three of the moth dust went out, and none of them propped. So yeah, and I had <laughs> uh, all of those misses. All those misses. So very good game, Nathan. Okay, I'm going over here to divide the team to destroy your life and make you wish you were never. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so we have a salty Gomrath here on the left. He's, he's plotting, <laughs> plotting vindictive thoughts. Nathan's feeling pretty good about himself. He just got a win against the uh... the master Gomrath himself. So. He uh, might be a little bit cocky with his with his team choice here. Let's hope he stays wise and, um, as all <laughs> pet battles should, um, never underestimate your enemy. Okay, I'm ready for this, Nathan. Oh wait, wait, Gomrath wait, 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 is wait, ready. Gomrath was just kidding. It was a prank. <laughs> he really pranked us good this time. He got us. Okay. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> oh, we have two pranks going on. We got double prank today. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Still thinking about their teams. There should be a rule about this. <laughs> <laughs> Amount of pranks. Okay. It's okay, they each got their one prank. Gomrath is ready, he's ready for Nathan. Uh, Nathan's still working on his team here. What you looking at? Well, I mean, he's already chosen Rob's his team, friend. so it's fine. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Random wad toy appears. Okay, out quick. Okay. Alrighty, so we are going to see uh, the third battle here between Nathan and Gomrath. They are one and one. Gomrath won the first one. And it looks like Gomrath's team is going to be a, an Amethyst Shell Hatchling, uh, Zambi, and Umbridge the Frog. Zambi is, is going to be his infected fawn. We're going to be seeing the Alpine Hare, first, uh, first presence of a rabbit in this, in this tournament. Crystal Spider as well, and the Robo Chick. All three very strong pets. 
uh, opening match is going to be between the Crystal Spider, HS, I'm assuming, and the uh, Frog, the Huge Toad. Webb is going to go onto the Toad, meaning he can't swap. And that Spider does have that speed advantage. So he's going to be able to stun here. Frog cannot move, so the Spider Link Swarm is going to come into him. Um, Umbridge is having a very rough time of it. He can choose to swap at this point. Crystal Spider has taken no damage. Frog Kiss is going to come out onto the Robo Chick. Did not proc. And the Shale Hatchling is going to come in to soak. Uh, looks like it was a peck from the Robo Chick. Now the Rabbit's going to come out. He cannot actually be Ooh. webbed, although it does do strong damage. Yeah. Dodge is going to come out, dodging the strong damage from the web. Burrow's going to come out, and he's, he's uh, gone through all of his defenses to really dodge a lot of the damage from the Amethyst Shale Hatchling. But now he's going to get hit with a web. Can't be webbed, so that double healing from Leech Life, if that is what Gomrath is running, will not be effective. It will only do the basic amount of healing, and he is very close to dead. Um, I think that will protect him from a double hit, but not a triple hit uh, from the Rabbit. And the, ra and the dodge is going to come out anyways. Um, can't be hit by the Shale Hatchling, so the Frog is going to come in. It's going to take a flurry. The rabbit, rabbit is clinging on for dear life. And doing but serious think, work, man. And the doing serious dealt, work, like, yeah. like 2,000 damage to my team. Yeah, that's that's a lot of lot of pressure. He is able to throw out an AoE heal with his Frog, but that, uh, that, that Robo Chick is really going to force the swap because of the strong pet damage. Um, Amethyst Shale Hatching is going to come in on the windup. Oh, let's see, the windup does not kill me though. Well, keep in mind, there's a 10% buff to the windup damage shown in your derangement's pet battle cooldowns. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be about 594 plus 59, or whatever it is. Alrighty, so the, the overtune is going to come in. Strong damage here with a Stone Rush. And the peck is going to take down the Amethyst Shale Hatchling. Windup is still available for the for the Robo Chick, who has not activated his racial yet. And we have a uh, first first presence of the infected fawn here from Gomra. Uh, Spider's going to come in to soak. It looks like a siphon life, so that that dot's going to start taking away at the Crystal Spider. All of uh, Nathan's pets are still alive. Web is going to come out onto Umbridge. He can't swap out now, so he can. Um, um, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, the frog is gone. Um, so it is going to be down to the infected fawn versus a rabbit and a robo chick and a stun. It's it's looking pretty grim for the infected fawn, unfortunately. That rabbit is going to come in on the swap, taking no damage. He has all of his defensives available. And uh, just try to it, kill him, looks... Nathan. Don't use dodge. Just try to go. Yeah, there. <laughs> And that rabbit's still not dead. A very <laughs> unlucky low hit there with the diseased bite. Damage what is going to go into the okay. infected fawn. I am retarded. Looks like there was a misclick or something. No, that was just like a, a misthought. Gomorrah's oh. idiot. Alrighty, so the, the heal does come out a little bit late. Oh, yeah. Um, flawless victory. Yeah, we, it looks okay. like we are going to have wow. no time to heal. And no time to heal. <laughs> He's going for it. By the way, if any this of y'all are wondering, this does not actually count towards the achievement. <laughs> what a comeback from Nathan after that first loss. Oh. The infected fawn does go down, and all of Nathan's pets are alive. Damn. Well, you know what? Watch this, Nathan. You think you're great? You ready? Oh, you suck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the deep bird comes in from oh, Gomer. We're wow. gonna need some. We're gonna need a medic here. <laughs> he has pain. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, well, Andre, uh, we'll sit over here as losers, and then we'll watch these guys fight it out.
Alrighty. Uh, let me know whenever you're ready. I'm just going to need a quick second to look at my teams um, to decide what I want to start with. I was not expecting for, that. <laughs> Jeez. For recording purposes, I uh -oh. suggest you to set focus on one player's frontline pad and just target the other one. And move their frames. It could make a uh, a nicer, a nice show. So, are you talking about like just for recording these videos to stay focused on one pet, or what? What do you mean? Targeting one and focusing the another one. Hmm. I'm not sure if I understand. Well, you right-click one of their, your, the right side player uh -huh. you right click their their pet and set focus oh oh okay and you move this frame to the right side of her screen okay all righty so lenica uh, is ready whenever nathan is it should look well looks fine on on the camera i told you i was a force to be reckoned with you know, I believed you, man. There was no underestimating that was happening at all. You were correctly a very estimated, team, yeah. and you correctly kicked the crap out of my guy. <laughs> you did very well, my good sir. Alrighty, so it's going to be Nathan versus Lenica. I am ready whenever you are. I'm ready. I'll let awesome. You. Sweet. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and initiate the first battle here. Um, I'm going to be bringing my turquoise turtle, the Karahi Garling, and the Rabbit Nut Varmint. He's going to be bringing his own uh, Nether Fairy Dragon, a Drap Calf and an infected squirrel, a lot of healing potential on his team. Um, I think I'm going to want to go ahead and start with... All right, so we're going to see an opening match between the Nether Fairy Dragon and the Karahi Guardling. It's a 50-50 chance, um, and he's actually going to swap into the Infected Squirrel, who's going to take a uh, Blackout Kick from my Karahi Guardling. Sandstorm's going to come out into his Infected Squirrel while he is stunned. Swap into the Turquoise Turtle is going to come out from Linica. Disease Bite's going to come from the Infected Squirrel. So he's not running Stampede. Um, swap into the Nether Fairy Dragon is going to come out from Nathan while I Powerball. Powerball is going to put me one Powerball below speed. Oh, I'm actually outspeeding his Nether Fairy Dragon already. Like <laughs> yeah, so. Bite's going to come out into the Nether Fairy Dragon. He's going to go ahead and change that weather, but the weather is really kind of pretty good for my pet because I can heal a lot under Moonlight. Unless I'm running Shell Shield. <laughs> I do have a heal, of course. And... Swap's going to come in uh, from the Infected Squirrel. Um, makes it me, see, me feel like he is possibly running Life Exchange since he didn't use the dodge there. Um, swap is going to be into the Turtle who takes the weak damage from Dots. Heal's going to go up, healing me to full. Giraffe calf, giraffe calf is going to make his first appearance, and he's very strong. He can heal a lot under Moonlight, so... Oh. It's going to be pretty difficult to deal with. Um, Lenica is swapping into the Karahi Guardling. Going to go ahead and throw up a... Uh, a Sandstorm to change the weather. 
If he's running headbutt, he can stun me. He did he get the stun, actually. Back. He got the stun on my Karahi guard link, so it's very good for him. Um, however, I will go ahead and stay in because of the, of the weak damage, and he's going to go ahead and swap because of the weak damage. Stun is going to come out from Nether Fairy Dragon, who won the coin toss, so he's going to go first, applying Moonlight. Swap into the Infected Squirrel was played correctly. Um, Moonlight is up. Sandstorm is on cooldown for two rounds. There's really only one move available, and that is to soak the dot with the Aquatic. The fact that he hasn't used Consume makes me believe he does run Consume Corpse. I'm sorry, Corpse Explosion. My bad. Swap into the draft calf is going to come out. He doesn't have the team heal, so all he can do is uh, hit me with headbutts to hope for a stun. <clears throat> Lucky Mage shows up. <clears throat> Heal's going to come out from both of these pets. Stun is going to come out for the second time from that headbutt. Weak damage is the only thing available to the uh, to the to the draft calf against the humanoid who just swapped in. Stun is going to come into the draft calf, who's presumably going for tranquility. Another fairy dragon is going to come in. Rabbit Nut Diamond is going to come in to soak the magic damage. And the dodge finally does come out, so he's not using uh, Life Exchange. Uh, Moonfire is going to go ahead and come out. We can probably expect to swap into the affected Squirrel now that that uh, weather is up. Especially since the Arcane Blast does weak damage to the mechanical. His giraffe has Tranquility, so... He has two options, actually. Oh, but it's a beast type. Yeah, exactly. Like, if he had Nature's Word, he would have him the other option. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. You're, but that was a good thought. That's actually what I was really scared of, the draft calf. Um, Heal is going to come out from the Turquoise Turtle. Dot's probably going to come out. No, the Consume, the, the consume does come out. He's going to start healing here. Nice crit. And it does crit, but it does hit weak as well, so... If he stays in, the uh, Turquoise Turtle will definitely take him out. Draft Calf is coming out, so is the Rabid Nut Farmant. Stun is going to come out, but it's going to miss this time. Strong damage is uh, available against the beast, so the swap is going to go into the Infected Squirrel, who does have a heal from the Tranquility. Swap into the Turtle is going to come out with uh, the Consume being used on cooldown. He's going to go ahead and stay in on his Infected Squirrel. Still staying in on his squirrel. He doesn't have consume available. He got another crit. Okay, swap's gonna come in with another fairy dragon. Heal's gonna go out from the turquoise turtle as the arcane blast comes in. Oh, he's trying to activate his racial. Another fairy dragon is being whittled down a little bit. Another fa fairy dragon is two attacks away from death. 
If he stays in here, he will die. Switch into the draft calf comes out. Heal goes out from the turtle. Heal comes from the giraffe calf. Stun is very possible here. He's gotten two already. Two in very good shape. Swap is going to come out into the Karahi Guardling. Heal is going to be refreshed by the draft calf. Sandstorm's coming out from the Karahi Guardling. That hoof does very, very small damage to the humanoid. Honestly, it's damage that the humanoid racial can almost outheal. Strong damage is available with the infected squirrel. The stun does land. Crush hits pretty hard. And a medium hard hit will take out the infected squirrel. A very weak hit did not kill the squirrel. Um, but now he will definitely die unless there is a miss under Sandstorm. Infected squirrel's racial has been activated. Most likely the Karahi Gardling will have been traded out here. He did die. No more sandstorm shenanigans. No more sandstorm is available. That is correct. Heal's going to come out from the turquoise turtle. Presumably a dot or damage. Okay, so the dot is going to come out. Another fairy dragon is slower than the turtle, so his really only option is the, is the draft calf. Heal's going to go ahead and go up. Damage is his only available option since the Nether Fairy Dragon is slower. Stun does go out. <laughs> Crit happens uh, with a hoof. Creeping Fungus hasn't quite taken down the turtle. Heal's going to go out, keeping him alive for at least one more round. Alrighty, and we're down to the uh, to the rabid uh, varmint versus a pretty high health giraffe calf and a nether fairy dragon. This is not the SS varmint, is it? It is not, but I do have overtune. If he gets a stun, he wins. If he doesn't, I win. No stun happens. Metal Fist is going to go into the Giraffe Calf, and Overtune is going to keep me alive for or, uh, faster than him for one more round. GG. Wow. Very close game. Well played, that was cool. guys. Very <laughs> close game. All right, so the first game does go to Linica, but uh, it could have gone to anybody. Those stuns are really keep it very close. Well played. Good, sir. All righty. Um, I'm going to take a quick second to look at my team, see what I want to run next. Um, Nathan did use his uh, his infected squirrel. His... He's looking for a fight with that boar. <laughs> his, his, uh, his, his giraffe calf and... And the Nether Fairy Dragon. So he still has a Karahi Gardling available on his team. He still has a Rabbit. He still has a Crab. He still has a Spider. He has a lot of strong pets still available. So although he did not get the first win, he has a lot of the strong pets available, while Lenica does not have the Karahi Gardling. But you guys weren't expecting the Giraffe Cat. No, I was. I mean, I, I was 
is a very strong pet. I was actually thinking about using him, and I got so frustrated trying to use him against the Meta because he's so weak against the Meta. But um, he's very strong because he's basically a Terracol I want to be if you use Nature's Ward. Um, I would personally, like I said, you have used Nature's Ward uh, oh, because I then you. That he had, I forgot he had Nature's Ward. That would have helped against. Well, yeah, because they got the mechanical wouldn't have been able to kill him. So if you'd been running Nature's Ward, it would definitely have been your win. Um. Yeah, there I was you. expecting a lot of beasts at first, but then I figured everyone would have basically the same, like, three, four pets, and not at all beasts I, as I expected. I'm ready when you are, bud. Alrighty. Um. Yeah, I'm ready. Sweet. So round two is gonna happen. Oh, oh, we gotta move over here. Sorry. <coughs> Go ahead and try again. What? Why won't it let us pet battle? This beast oh. got war. There it is. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to see the double Sandstorm team coming out from Nathan. Very strong um, team to go up against. Silithid so Hatchling is going to come out from Nathan, while the Robochick does come out from Lenica. Sandstorm's going to go ahead and go out. Swap into the Topaz Shale. Hatchling is matched by the Stone Armadillo. Karahi Gardling is going to come into an Infected Claw. Ooh. Oh, I didn't think he was running Infected Claw. I knew he had Karahi Gardling still available. <laughs> Critter cannot be stunned. Damn. Now I'm in a bind. Nathan's in trouble. He's going to throw out that Sandstorm. And oh, it's going to miss under Sandstorm. Oh, <laughs> Life is looking grim for for our uh, our Karahi Gardling. Beast is going to come in. He does have you that missed, hiss, most likely. You miss this. I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> you have a ninety percent hit chance. Right, like it's it's pretty grim. Hiss is going to go into the into the Robo Chip. And the very smart swap into the Topaz Shale Hatchling to soak that uh, wind up. Just debating on whether to do that or Poison Spit. Yeah, the Stone Rush did come into the critter to do weak damage. Sandstorm is down. But that poison actually doesn't hit through the shell shield, only the attack. Hiss is going to go out into the robo chick. Sandstorm's going to go out. And they both swap. Poison Spit does hit the Armadillo hard, but the Shell Shield is still up for one more round. Come on, Coin Toss. 
coin toss does go to the Topaz Shale Hatchling. He does hit first before the Shell Shield goes out. Silithid, hatch shell Silithid Hatchling is going to come in here. He does have his Hiss available. Melinda is going to go ahead and take that hiss with the with the robo chick. Oh, my garling is just having a bad time against two of us. He has a hard time. Um, yeah. The wind up does go into the Karahi garling. I was expecting the swap. Yeah, it's a lot of mind games, honestly, going down between with, because of our, our our strong and weak matchups. Expertise. <laughs> Sandstorm's going to go out from the Karahi Gardling. It's almost going to activate the Robochick's racial. Robochick is faster. I'm assuming you're running batter. Nope. Peck did come out instead of batter. Racial has been activated by the uh, from the robo chick. Honestly, my gardling can just... Oh, a crit came into the Karahi Gardling, and it is unfortunately a coin toss here. And a very important one. Coin toss goes Ooh. to Linica, but he misses. He misses. Yes. Well, I don't really need the Gardling anyway, so. Infected Font's going to make its first appearance on the battlefield. He's going to win the coin toss against the Karahi Guardling before he could get his stun off, so that's pretty important. Uh, Scratch is almost certainly available to the Silithid Hatchling, which hits the Stone Armadillo hard. And he does use Scratch. Rachel has been activated by the Silithid Hatchling. Come on, 500. Consume Corpse is going to come out from the Infected Fawn. Oh, and the Disease Bite almost finished him off. Crit also almost finished off the Infected Fawn. We have come another... Yes. We have a coin toss that went to the Silithid Hatchling. He throws up Sandstorm. There's always that chance on this. No. Okay, so the Infected Fawn has its racial available against the Shale Hatchling. Stone Armadillo and the Shale Hatchling are exactly the same speed, so coin tosses are pretty important here. No. First, first coin toss does go to Linica. Hmm. Not the most important one. Infected Claw hits pretty hard. Infected Claw hit pretty hard again. Scratch lands and it does take out the Topaz Shale Hatchling. Ladies and A lot gentlemen. of coin tosses honestly yeah. won that game for me. Um, wasn't very much skill. Definitely very, very, very hard to beat, Nathan. Very good team. That, that Sandstorm team was very strong and well played. Thank you, thank you. So, Linica, do you want uh, a pet as a reward, or do you, <laughs> do you not really care? Yeah, I mean, I have a, I have a pretty, shit, but uh, they... <laughs> yeah, your collection is bigger than mine. I only have seven sixty unique pets right now. I have seven eighty nine, man. I'm so excited. I'm gonna hit eight hundred soon. Oh, nice. Um, and that's that's oh, gonna feel so good. Yeah, eight, oh no no no, no total a pets a thousand forty nine. Yeah, but a uh, unique pets, I have seven eighty nine. Oh, I have. 680. Oh, nice. Very nice. Wow, well, excellent tournament, guys. Um, let's talk about next week. So, 
Outland. Linica, do you want to do Outland exclusively, or do you want to do Outland and Northrend? Because... Ooh, I like that idea a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. going to really Dang. open up the pool. Oh, I like that a lot, because Northrend has such a, such a cool pets, and I think throwing in the ability to use um, Outland will be a lot of fun. I do like that, abil that, that idea a lot. Where should we meet? Um, so you guys we are Alliance here, yeah. mains, right? I am, actually. But um, yeah. if we just keep it the same, that'll probably be easiest. If we want to just keep doing them here, yeah. I think for simplicity's sake. I like this better than Dirt Nil because there's no grass on the ground. It's just a lot mm -hmm. easier to spectate here than uh, Undead Starting Zone. Yeah, I, I, think that, I think that we can go ahead and stay here, and it's a pretty, pretty sweet spot. Wow. That is awesome. Okay, well then, yeah, let's do a combination of uh, Northrend and Outland. Sweet, sweet. Wow. Same place. Um, here is something I was actually thinking about, just for future rules. Um, what happens if there's a draw, you know, like an undead dies and then gets a revenge kill? Do you just, like, have a rematch and call it nothing, or what? <laughs> yeah, I think that would just be a rematch then. Okay. So, um, what... and here's the only problem I see is what if somebody, you know, doesn't have the biggest collection they just started recently and they only have nine, or, you know, nine pets. Are they allowed to just use their same team, I guess? That seems fair, yeah. They could, they, yeah. could, they could just use the same team um, on the rematch if they want. Yeah, that's totally fine. Especially, I mean, we would love, I want to get as many new people into this as possible. Like, we had yeah. four of us here today. I would, like, I envision a year from now you know, having done this and we have 25 people or 50 people and all Linica and I are doing is like spectating and commenting and like participating. So for sure. Yeah. Uh, let's just make it as inclusive as possible. Um, what day are we going to have it? Cause I know you, something came up with your wife and all. Yeah. And... Oh, well it really, it comes down to Linica. I really want him to be a co-host uh in all of future content especially like this so it's up to him really um yeah i think normally i do have saturday nights off um there I, there has been a guy who is off from work so that's why i had to miss last saturday but then he got pushed back um so we could just tentatively say the 10th saturday the 10th okay um and then i'll let you know as soon as like as i'll know my schedule for next week mm -hmm. tomorrow um so i'll let you know if we have to change it but i think it's good to go ahead and say uh seven o'clock server time here on malorn at uh on, on saturday the 10th just uh as a placeholder okay that sounds perfect to me um now i'm gonna go in and put these all these video clips i have together and upload an hour and 40 minute tournament <laughs> nice anyway uh guys thank you so much and uh i'll catch you next week and linica remember to shoot me an email uh so we can... sorry you disconnected for uh, you were hard yeah. to hear for a second oh, for me i was just saying remember to shoot me an email uh so that we can plan out our first podcast yes gotcha okay will do cool i'll talk to you guys later